founding member and chieftain of the People's Democratic Party PDP in Edo State, Mr. Charles Sidahosa, on Friday advised the All Progressive Congress APC in Edo State chapter to ex accept defeat in good faith and join hands with Governor Gordon Obaseki in the interest of the state. Speaking on the Supreme Court ruling, which affirmed Obaseki as the governor of the state and dismissed the certificate forgery brought against him by APC. Idahosa, a former commissioner for information in the state, also advised the APC to wait till 2024 when the next governorship election in the state will hold. He also appealed to APC leaders in the state, especially Comrade Adam Soshomole, a former governor of the state, to set the people of Edo free and stop holding them hostage with all manners of lies that Obaseki will be removed and APC will return to power in the state. He said prior to Friday's judgment, APC leaders have been jubilating while assuring the people of Edo that plans have been perfected to remove Governor Gordon Obaseki from office because he accused the federal government of printing money to fund shortfalls in federation accounts. He said, I knew it was going to be like that. I knew the governor was going to win, but I want to appeal to APC leaders and supporters to stop misleading my people. I want them to let my people go. Let them be free because they are putting them through mental torture, especially during the COVID-19 period. They have been fooling the people and I'm saying enough is enough. For the past one month in Benin, they've been whining and dining. They even slaughtered cows to celebrate in anticipation of Friday's judgment. They claimed all sorts of things that are already that they already knew that APC will win because Obaseki is in the bad books of the federal government. They claimed that Obaseki will be removed because he accused the federal government of printing money. They said the cabals in presidency have assured them that Obaseki must go. I remember that I told our people then not to panic or listen to them. I said Nigeria is not a banana republic where the executive arm of government will be dictating to the Supreme Court. In fact, up to two hours before this judgment, APC members were jubilating all over Edo, saying they won the election and their candidate to be sworn in. They even said Obaseki moved his belongings out of government house while others said he has run out of town. They were saying, what happened in Imo state will happen in Edo state, but they forgot Edo is not Imo. I feel so sorry for them and I still want to appeal to them to let my people go. When the election was going to take place, Adam Soshomole was boasting about using federal might. He showed them the result of an election that has not taken place. Because of his boast, 43 political appointees of Abaseki left, many threw, threw their career to the dustbin. After they lost the election, they kept boasting again that the tribunal will obtain the result. I fear that with this judgment and the lies they have been told, some of them may attempt suicide. My advice to them now is to join hands with the governor to move Edo forward. And if they are not ready for that, let them prepare for 2024 when the next governorship election will hold. This, um, the Supreme Court uh, um, judgment that um, finally uh, affirmed or confirmed um, Obaseki's um, certificate. This judgment has been ongoing. Um, APC has appealed. So this case has been in court three occasions, on three occasions. The first judgment was um, January 9th, when um, the Federal High Court ruled that Obaseki did not forge his certificate. Everything was okay. It was just uh, printing, I beg your pardon, photocopying error that cut off some details uh, some uh, information from the certificate. But um, Charles Idahusa, a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party here, is uh, appealing to APC and its leaders. You know, because of Obaseki's uh, uh, revelation that he made about um, a month ago or so, where he called out that um, the federal government printed 50 to 60 billion naira to share to governors, we saw how that uh, the, the sort of controversy that raised the lies, the accusation, and all of that. But um, Obaseki was bold enough to stand by he, his words. We saw that um, he did not play politics there. If it was some of these politicians, at that point in time, when federal government presidency were raining heavily on him, even calling him a liar, he would, he would then arrange the statement again that that was not what I meant. But you know, Obaseki was commended for uh, remaining true, standing firm 
to his initial statement about the way Obaseki put it he stated that I stand to my claim and for that he was commended seriously so Charles Sidhouse is revealing that after that incident APC stated that Obaseki is already in the bad books of presidency and APC APC is the ruling party and we know the influence that um, APC has on all of um, these uh, 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 institutions the judiciary we know the the kind of manipulations and the power they have over there well we know after the victory of Baseke really commended the judicial system for being very courageous for being very courageous so that that means a lot he even uh, commended president Muhammad buhari well apc thought that as it, just because um, obaseki uh, exposed presidency that very well they will use that against him that he has entered into the bad books of apc that was I telling them, telling uh, even Oshomale as well. Oshomale was um, the former governor of Edo State and also former national chairman who um, supported Pastor Osaige Ize Iyam. He's telling Oshomale to, to let the people of Edo State go, free them from all of their lies that it is not happening. That they were already celebrating, that they even killed cows. Very interesting. That they were whining and dining, stating that Obaseki will be removed and Pastor Osaige Ize Iyam will be put and um, a lot of reports came that Obaseki has um, left town. Obaseki has moved out of uh, uh, Osadebe Avenue. Charles Sidaosa is telling them that there's nothing you can do now. Best thing is for you to wait till 2024. We know yesterday that uh, um, the APC candidate himself, Osage Zeyamu, spoke for the first time. He's bro he broke his silence and spoke and um, he accepted that it's the end of the road for him. Because they've exhausted all the means. Three times they've gone to court. In, in January, they went to court. In March, they went to court. And now again, this is May. Um, the final judgment again confirmed everything through the case away that there's nothing of such. So they've exhausted all their means. And Isaiah Yama accepted that, well, this is the end of the road for him. That uh, what they can do is come together, re strategize ahead of future elections. That was I telling them to wait till 2024, that that is the best they have. They have nothing to do and they should stop comparing Edo State with Imo State. You remember one time Adam Soshomole came out openly to confirm that he was the one that manipulated the Imo State governorship election. See the way politics is played in Nigeria. And Adam Soshomole does not even know that those words he's using, those kind of words, they are the words that um, even enlighten the people the more and make them know that these people, they are just desperate. Adam Soshomale stated that he was the same treatment um, he gave to Emeka Ehedioha that it was through him that um, uh, Hope Ozodima was declared the, the governor of the state by the Supreme Court, that that was what he was going to do. But we saw that that's not what the way he played out in Edo State. In Edo State, it was different. The people gave Obaseki their mandate, supported him all through. And the Supreme Court uh, were courageous enough. Let me use Obaseki's word as well. Well, guys, um, Idahosa has sent um, a strong warning to APC, to um, Adam Soshomale as well. Let's hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thank you for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again, more updates. Bye.